time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and I'm here with Mr. Josh from Fractal hey. Designs. He is a very tall gentleman, as you can see. And we are here at Puget Systems in Kent, Washington. There's actually a logo up there. Oh, yeah, at Puget Systems in Kent, Washington. And we're going to get the five cent tour, isn't that right? Maybe 10 cent tour since I'm here. Ooh, look, I even got fancy Keurig coffee in a fancy little cup. All right, guys, well, I'm here with John from Puget Systems. He's going to be the guy giving us the tour around here because uh, Mr. Josh over there, he really has no pull at all. I'm businessing right now. Um, somebody's businessing. I'm surprised they didn't throw him out of the place. So I just learned, too, that this guy's into 3D printing. So we're going to get along just fine. Hey, look, that John guy's on a TV. I'm thinking he's kind of important around here. Or he's a sellout. Oh man, check out this oil submerged system here. This is crazy. You can't put fish in there though, because they can't breathe oil. Wow, look at all those fractal design cases. I brought them all with me. I'm sorry. The port. This is the portable version of the big guy. You under the tubes. You put on the lid. And you take it to your land party. That's awesome. awesome. Tupperware computing at its finest. So if you buy a Puget system, this is where it's assembled right here. On this awesome bench. <laughs> Maybe even by this awesome gentleman. Yeah. And then after they build your system, it comes here to the giant matrix wall to get installed with your favorite not Windows 8.1 operating system. Oh, damn it, it's 8.1. Ah. Artsy shot. Yeah. All right, so if you guys buy a system, the next place it goes after getting installed is this room right here, which is a temperature controlled room where they even have a thermal camera. And every single system here goes through this. Uh, I'd say, what, hardcore testing? Well, that's pretty hardcore if you're using a thermal camera to measure the loads and everything. So if you get a computer from these guys and it's a lemon, yeah, job opening. That's all I'm saying. Smile! Wow, these guys build just about every form factor there is. They even make laptops. Hey, Josh, they, they make laptops. I know, fractal laptops. I didn't know you could make a laptop. Yeah, you can. I didn't know. You take a, you take a desktop and you squish huh? it. Lies. It's lies. And that is where the packing peanuts come from. Now you know. All right, so here's the final spot where your computer will go before it's popped in a box. Wow, every single system they build gets to go in this awesome little photo chamber when all the employees aren't drunk and using it for other things. But, so you can get a pretty picture of what you're gonna receive in the mail. It'll more than likely look the same, right? Well, You're, you're not using Photoshop? Part. No, no, no. Okay, all right. Just make, I'm just making sure because I've seen some things on the internet that when I get them, they don't quite look as good well, we, we, as they did in person. We, we do it for two reasons. One, it lets the customer see you know, what they're about to get, but yep. it also is for our support techs. Uh, when there's a support question that comes yep. up, they can just bring up the picture and say, well, look at that yellow oh, cable like next to the red thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It just makes it personal and very easy. That's cool. Lifetime support and a lifetime labor warranty. That is insanely cool, especially since I'm always breaking stuff. Yeah, you guys remember that aquarium system you saw earlier? Well, they cut all their own. What is this? Is it plexi or? Acrylic. It's acrylic. Okay, so the acrylic, and this is the giant machine that does it. So here's some like staged pieces for an aquarium. This is, this oh, is that's the Tupperware cool. The Tupperware version. This is, this, is, this is the Tupperware build. <laughs> that's cool. So they can cut all this stuff in house. That looks like an expensive machine. Hey, and even it's liquid cooled. How about that? That's cool. Not only can they cut it, they can also etch lettering and stuff into it. That's really neat. This is where all the magic happens. Uh, I could use one of these. And we took the same, the same it's, uh, you can find rack mount loud quad socket systems just about anywhere. Mm -hmm. But to have a sub 18 decibel workstation. All right, are we gonna go stuff our faces? I think so. Let's do it. Down. Lead the way. Ladies first. Oh, I see how it is. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's food time. And in the interest of full disclosure, Fractal Josh did buy me the lunch to make this video. I'm just saying. I haven't yet. Well, he hasn't yet, but I, I hope he does. He, you think, I think he will, don't you? He hasn't told me. To be continued. Hashtag sellout. Oh, we're going to the QC room. That stands for quality control. And that is a high-tech webcam right there. Wow, it's actually got like a network cable coming out of it? Yeah, it's just all network connected so we can get to it just from any other PC in the middle. That's cool. So you can see every single computer that comes through here, like I was saying earlier, they're checking out the thermals on it to make sure that uh, apparently you guys put on enough thermal paste. <laughs> well, John, why don't you come over here 
and uh, tell us about what this FLIR setup thing is doing other than just looking awesome. All right. Well, so we take a look at uh, every PC we ship out, both at idle and at load. Um, and, you know, you, we can tell a lot already from the sensors on the motherboard, but what this tells us is where the heat is. And we can get a really good snapshot and a kind of high-level view of where the heat is. And that lets us, for example, that's why we built this brace. We know that, okay, on this particular system, we got to focus on this general area. So we put the fans exactly where we need them. That allows us to run the fans slower, more targeted. We don't have to run more fans than we need. That is awesome. No, this is really, really cool. I like it. We found in most chassis, um, say half your fans, you just don't need it. Uh, but, it, but it changes. Every system is unique, so we have to figure out where we're going to put them. Well, I wish I had known that before I went and put 2,430 CFM fans <laughs> yeah. in my beast because it's liquid. It's the loudest cooled liquid rig ever because everybody's like, isn't that the whole point of going liquid is so it's quiet? I'm like, I didn't get the memo. Ooh. Come on. Oh, yeah. right here. Ooh, that's Josh's hand. See, we should be able to see you then. Yeah, my hand That's pretty awesome. That is cool. I need to get one of those. All right, so we're getting ready to fire this system up because we got the little FLIR camera looking at it and we're gonna see it heat up. Man, that's loud. Not really, I can't even hear it. You're a hard drive. That is so quiet. It's hard to believe that's, a, <laughs> it's hard to believe that's not a liquid cooled system. All right. Warm up. Oh, starting to see some definition on components here. All right, this is like watching paint dry. Fast forward. Oh, now we're starting to see a little color. We're getting up there into that green spectrum. You still hear, I mean, listen to this thing, guys. That is a quiet computer. So is that kind of what you guys pride yourself on here, is just building dead silent systems? Yeah, I mean, not everything has to be extreme, but everyone appreciates quiet. None of my friends, obviously. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> See, the sad thing is this is actually not one of our quiet systems. Well, we're finally seeing just a little bit of yellow in there, but the system definitely isn't getting that hot. And it's cool to see that they created this little custom bracket right here just to put one fan spinning at relatively low revolutions, making no noise. And now, if that fan wasn't there, what, what would the heat look like up there? I'd well, imagine you guys kind of played around with that. Card. Like right now, the video card's running... Oh, uh, it looks like somewhere in the 60s. It might be up at upwards of 80 without the Wow, so that, that's hugely significant. That's cool. And and just to let you guys know, we are actually running, what is it, Prime 95? Prime 95 in Unigen Heaven. Prime 95 in the Heaven benchmark. So that's, and it's been running for a while now. I'd say, what, about 10, 15 minutes? Yeah, probably at least. 10, 15 minutes, and it's still like no heat. And we could cool it with brute force, you know, just by running the fans a lot, yep. a lot faster, but that brace lets us put it closer and then run it slower. So it's a lot quieter that way. And that's awesome. And this is definitely quiet. And we're in a very quiet room. This is this is a very, very quiet room, as you guys can probably tell listening to this video right now. This is legitimately silent. I've heard liquid-cooled machines that are louder than this. Ooh, the tech support room. In the rare event that your computer has issues, this room is here for you. Isn't that right, John? Yeah, yeah. So all right. All of our tech guys are here along the wall, right here in the US. And then when, if the system actually has to come back here, it'll be on one of these benches right here. All right, guys. Well, that was really cool. John gave us a tour of Puget Systems. Really cool place. I'm actually seriously considering having them build me my next PC. So I really appreciate that you brought us here. Yeah. This is a great time. And uh, Half-Life 3 confirmed. Totally. Totally. Illuminati. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself.